During World War II, the German army equipped the Goliath remote-controlled weapon, which was like a remote-controlled small tank used to carry out anti-tank and anti-fortification tasks. What many people don't know is that there was another country that equipped a similar weapon during World War II, and that was the Soviet Union's land torpedo ET-1627. The idea of the land torpedo originated from the naval torpedo, which aimed to develop a weapon that could inflict huge single-shot damage, similar to a torpedo. With this idea in mind, the Soviet Army developed a super-large caliber self-propelled rocket launcher using the BT light tank in the 1930s. However, it was later proven to be unreliable. When the Great Patriotic War broke out, a wire-controlled combat vehicle was developed, which was another form of the land torpedo. Alexander Petrovich Kazantsev was one of the engineers involved in the design and also the initiator of this weapon. Interestingly, he was also a famous science fiction writer, and it seems that his wild imagination must have influenced the design of the weapon. Due to the development of the war, the designers were forced to use materials and structures that were as simple as possible to build this remote-controlled weapon. Additionally, due to the electrical technology available in the Soviet Union at the time, the power system and control system had to be simple as well. In the end, they designed a particularly shaped, remote-controlled small tank. This torpedo had a body made of metal and wood with a large wooden box in the front containing the explosive with a total carrying weight of 500 kilograms. The rear part housed the power and transmission systems with power from two asynchronous motors, each driving one side of the tracks after variable speed adjustment. The tracks were simple, with four small diameter idler wheels connected in pairs with a damping spring in the middle, appearing fragile. However, since it was designed for one-time use, as long as it could run, it served its purpose. The ET-1627 itself did not have its own power source and required an additional power source. It was generally transported by a vehicle equipped with a power generator or battery for combat operations. The operator adjusted the speed of the two motors by controlling the current, thus adjusting the steering and speed of the torpedo. During testing, the Soviet Army was very satisfied with this land torpedo. Despite its light weight of just over 100 kilograms, it could carry 500 kilograms of explosive. Although the remote control method was clumsy, it was not as advanced as the German Goliath of the same period, which had several trailing cables when in use. However, it was unexpectedly effective, with an effective remote control distance of 400 to 500 meters, well within the visual range of soldiers. The Soviet Army believed it could be used in anti-tank combat, attacking stationary or slow-moving targets, suitable for both defense and offense, with massive explosive power. Even if it did not directly hit a tank, the explosive power was sufficient to destroy a tank from a distance of 10 to 20 meters. It was even more effective against ordinary civil engineering structures. At the time, the military wanted 50 units, possibly for military training or a small number for frontline combat experiments. These land torpedoes were produced by the first Moscow factory. The Soviet Army formed a special combat team responsible for operating and training with these torpedoes. Although the Soviet Army was satisfied with the ET-1627, this remote-controlled weapon ultimately lacked practicality for combat. The weapon itself lacked armored protection, with the warhead having no steel plate, and only the motors had proper protection. This structure was not conducive to actual combat, as the opponent could easily counter it, and even a rifle could directly attack the warhead. Additionally, the maximum operating distance of about 500 meters was not very reliable. Even though the Soviet army was known for its ability to fight tough battles, it was not wise to crouch next to a truck and control a slow-moving small tank at such a distance. In 1942, the Soviet Army reorganized its forces and canceled the land torpedo and some other remote-controlled weapons, instead focusing on producing conventional weapons. The ET-1627 was likely abandoned around this time.